Hi, it's about 20 to 1 in the morning and I've just got back from Avengers Endgame. So here's the thing. Uh, I've done a thing before where I make a signal um, as I'm speaking to indicate that I'm giving spoilers. But with this film, I feel like I can't say anything. So it's going to be quite general and if you want to know what I have to say in detail then it'll be in my review of the year obviously and um, you can just ask me in person um, I think it's terrific <laughs> uh, I know I use that word a lot but it's really it's really merited here um, I think it's the best film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe it has the gamut it has the action and what action it has it has humour that's genuinely really funny. It has drama that's genuinely really engaging and weighty and matters because they have, the, the characters have lost so much in the wake of Thanos' snap that everyone has lost someone and you feel the weight of the story, the weight of their emotions in the mission that they go on to try and to stop him to to reverse it in in whatever way they can um it's a long film it's slightly over three hours uh, which i think makes it the longest superhero film of all time because no one counts the director's cut of batman versus superman and i think it's justified because this is this is it this is the end of the road so everyone deserves their time in the sun. Scarlett Johansson as Natasha gets to do more in this movie than almost, I think, pretty much the, all the other movies put together in terms of having an arc, having a story, getting a range of character behaviour. She's funny. She's in charge. She, she gets so much to do. And I think her performance is maybe the best in the movie because... After all this time, Natasha Romanoff is finally fleshed out as a full character. Um, that's not to diminish any of the other performances, because everyone's great. Everyone is bringing their A-game, because this is the one that matters. This is the one where everything is going to pay off. And it does. There, as I say, it's three hours long, and it, I feel like there could have been nips and tucks here and there, and it could have been trimmed down, but everyone just gets their time. Everyone gets their moment in the sun, their story arc, their great scene. There's diversions to, to other locations, which I think even at the script stage you could have removed, but it feels like it needs to be there. This is, uh, it's, like, it's like a victory lap of the universe um, to celebrate 22 movies in 11 years, and they pulled it off. Um, <laughs> it's... I, I made a joke on Twitter as I was coming home that it's it's the that's carry on of the Marvel Cinematic Universe because it's almost as though imagine that the last carry on movie only made sense if you'd watched the previous 28 um, <laughs> over 20 years. It's that scale of filmmaking. It's that scale of thought and work that has been put into this. And it's amazing to note how little details, little bits and pieces of previous films which seemed irrelevant, which seemed like little bits and bobs, little bits of colour have relevance and pay off in this movie. There were appearances by people I was not expecting, there were appearances by people I were expecting, but not in the way that I expected. Um, I don't want to spoil any, I mean I, yeah, I don't even want to say what I was going to say because I think that is in in and of itself is a spoiler, uh, even though it was really in reference to something from Infinity War that is kind I think kind of self evident. And again, if you ask me, then I'll tell you what I what I meant, assuming I remember. That's a reminder for me. Um, but overall, um, I really like. I mean, obviously, obviously. Don't watch it if you haven't seen at least half 
of the MCU films because it will make no sense. You'll have no idea who these characters are. You'll have no idea what the story is. You'll have no idea what the stakes are. You'll have no idea why this matters. But if you have seen them and you do have been following the story, it, it lives up to the hype. It lives up to all the excitement, all the promotion, all the build-up. It's a three-hour payoff to a gargantuan project that is almost beyond belief in its scale and it works and I had an absolutely amazing time and I think the key element is that the movie is as I said three hours long including end credits but it was not until the end credits were even halfway through that I looked at the time not once during the movie did I look at the time it could have maybe been broken in two you could have had the whole Infinity War Endgame story as three movies of shorter length because it's five and a half hours between the two movies but overall this is a great film uh, it's maybe even an early contender for film of the year um, I loved it I it was uh, I just had a really great time. I laughed. I cried. I finished a journey that I've been on watching these movies for 11 years. I remember going to see the first one. I saw it Saturday afternoon in May 2008 in the same cinema where I saw this one. Um, so, and, and as I was, I was, I was telling um, someone earlier, um, someone who was 10 when the movie started is now 21 so if you would have grown up with these movies it's like harry potter the weight of it is is so great and i think that the last harry potter movie maybe stumbled a little it wasn't quite there even though it was concluding the story in a, in a satisfactory manner but avengers endgame they pulled it off and as I say, it's it's a phenomenon, and yeah, highly recommended. Five stars. <laughs>